It normally counts me in. What the hell? Getting ripped off. G'day everyone. I've made this video so that I can share it to lots of people in the future so I don't have to um, keep making this video for people. So it's to help you with your log cleans in particular. And when we're working on your log cleans, it's to help your log clean and press. So a couple of things I want to go over in the video uh, so I can send out to people and say, you need to watch this and you need to focus on this part or you need to focus on this part. But I'm really good at log cleans. I know a lot about them. I've experimented a lot. Uh, same as all movements, there's a couple of different things. Like if someone sits at a bit lower on their belly, I've seen it work really well. Other people up higher. So similar to most movements, there's not one way written in stone, but I really find with, with the log, there's not as much discrepancy. You know, you've got some people that squat really narrow, some people wide, and we know that it's good both ways if it suits the person. Log cleans, smaller window that we really want to work with. Mainly for this video, I will admit we're going to be working, I'm going to be speaking through the lens of a, a smaller, lightweight athlete. Anyone under 80, un, uh, any any weight if you're under 80 under 90 definitely um, like this broader people under 105 um, and over 105 maybe things change a little bit so I, I want to put that in mind I'm just gonna let this video play of course it bloody stitched me up didn't it so I tried to demo some good and bad ones and I think I started with a good one so I'm not going to analyze everything actually. I really just want to work on the head position and finishing your clean, finishing the hips. So sinking low, maybe you bounce out. That's not what this video is about. Maybe you go down and dive bomb and get it like I do now on the 12 inch. But this is a good rep. I just want to take a look at the head position. So guys, if you want to film from the side for some log press, it really helps me out. Um, but basically you can see the center of mass on the log is here where the mouse cursor is going, where the, where the loading pin is, that's the center of mass. And my head is behind it. And as I stand up, my head is way behind it. Okay. So I'm not looking up with the chin up, but sometimes I'll tell people chin up. So just notice this position here, how behind it I am. So I'm flicking the weight back here and it will roll up into position. Take a look again. Now look at my heels. I went on a heels rampage. Take a look at my heels here. See how they come. Look at the feet. Look at the feet. Look at the feet. Nothing else. Bang, bang. Okay, let's go again. I want you guys to nail that. Up on the toes, quickly back down. That's how you snap the hips, okay? In a good way. That's how you use the hips. So already, heels and either head back or chin up at this position here. I'm up. I'm upright. It might look different for you, but upright. So that your head is back. Okay, I haven't watched this video yet, but I tried to demonstrate an average one next. So bring the log to the shins, nice tight back. No matter, I'm not, I'm not talking, see that? See how I'm just putting in enough effort to lift the 43 kilo log? See that? What do my feet do? Let's look at the feet. I bet you weren't looking at the feet. Didn't move. Can you guys tell the difference? You don't need to be a strongman coach. You don't need to be a top tier athlete to be able to tell the difference between this. Does this, how much does this look like I can clean and press? That looks like I can clean and press 130 kilos, right? This one, even though I'm warm, even though you might just be warming up, take a look at this. That looks like I can do 65. I look like a piss ant. That looks terrible, okay? So that was no heels and that wasn't, I was just doing enough. I was just putting in enough effort and if I try and pause it, well, my head's back a bit, but <laughs> I was hoping that would be worse, right? Can you guys see the head position here is very forward? Oh, that was the good one, that's why. Yeah, go me. Now the average one, take a look at the, I don't know. I'm still lent back a bit, that angle there. But it's just nowhere near as much. And see how I see how I go back and kind of stay back? It's not back then forward, using those hips. All right, and then I think I do good ones. Let's take a look, I can't remember what order I did. You should be able to tell now. See how slow that is? Guys, when you're warming up, that's why I put vipers into the warm up. It is hard to clean that log and put 130 kilos of effort into a 40 kilo log. It is hard. So that's why I always suggest warming up with vipers. If I've written in the program or not, do some vipers with the empty log. Okay, but you got to fight. We got to you got to get the, the the heels and the head and the hips doing what you want it to do with this light weight. You can't just say, "Ah, oh, it's a warm up set. I'll I'll fire the hips when it gets heavy." These warm-up sets are important. 
So head there, yeah, see that head back? See this? That's way better, this is it. That's how you're gonna clean. If you wanna clean and press 100 kilos, you're not gonna do it the other way, guys, unless you're massive. All right, if you're heavy and you've got weight on your side, then maybe, but that's leaning back. So, and that starts, what I'm trying to say is, it starts here. Head behind the loading pins, head behind, head behind. I'll often say chin up to people is a good idea here because where the head goes, the body will follow, the weight will follow. So if your head's back, you'll clean back. If you're forward like this, you'll cut it short every time. Take a look at this, take a look at, I'll play it twice. Take a look at just the head position on this one and how I lean back and I finish the clean. Bang, snappy, elbows up. Now let's look at the heels, up, down. It was very minor, but I did it. <laughs> bang, bang. That's a great clean. If someone sent me that, I would say, mate, you should give me a warning. It's not safe for work. Elbows up. What else do I demonstrate here? I think I'll just do a bunch of good ones for you. Bang. Snappiness, even on your warm-ups. Even, especially on your warm-ups. All right, let's see what else I do because I had some other points I wanted to bring up. So finishing the clean is the main point of this. Heels and head. And then... When you do your vipers, that's why I put vipers in because it's the same position. A viper teaches you, especially a heavy viper, but take a look. It teaches this position. You should be in this position with the viper. See, my elbow's still aren't even under the log yet. I haven't started the roll through. My head's really far back. This is going to help your stone load, all right? Hips for stone load, keg press, keg load. Freaking, what else do you do in strongman? This, you need to be able to get into this position. I'm up on the toes. I've extended the hips. And then I throw it overhead. That's how you do a Viper. And then I put this on Instagram before. The other thing that I like to teach for lightweight athletes is the rack position. So see how my forearms, they're not my forearms, they're my forearms. <laughs> Tricep, what's this part of your arm called? Is it the humerus? See how my arm is parallel to the floor, not pointed down. Now, if, if this camera was just over a little bit parallel with the loading pins, you'd see that it's as close as I can get to directly through my midline, okay? Now, a bigger person, let's look at it from here. Elbows up, chin back, and that log, the center of mass, is going through my center of mass. So all the force that I get from the ground into my feet, into my quads, into my ass, into my core, into my shoulders, goes into the log, okay? If I've got any leakage, if that log's forward a little bit, can't really be back a little bit. If your elbows are down, I guarantee you, your body isn't, underneath the log, so we're gonna lose some force. Different if you're massive, the big guys, Saviscus and the biggest guys, they just seem to be able to have their elbows down here and the logs going through them. But they're three times the size of me lifting the same size logs. So they it's expected to be able to, that they should lift it different, okay? They might not have to finish their cleans and the cleans might not be too taxing for them, they can just finish here, okay? Light, smaller people, don't worry about weight, just if you're a smaller person, you have gotta get the elbows up, you have gotta push back, and you can see there when I let go to kind of, oh no, it wasn't showing off. It's literally, I don't know if I can do that with a heavy ass weight, but the position that this is in here, guys, it's weightless. I can let go. Can you do that? You should be able to do that. Maybe not when it's heavy. I mean, it's going to roll and stuff anyway, but that's where the log is. Okay. And my hands are just holding it. Just push this, just, just there like that. I'm not active in the shoulders. Should not feel here. I know we're pressing it overhead, so we think that the shoulders can do something, but they're just, we want to be able to use our body because we're trying to lift as much weight as possible. And your body is stronger than this little fucking part of your body. All right? So, few things. Finish your cleans, which means head back. You don't want to get the head forward too early or demonstrate it like that when they, it's not this. It's not just putting enough in. you got to... <laughs> Flick that thing up, warm up with vipers to wake up the ass, wake everything up, make sure you're getting up on your toes and then quickly back down on the heels. That's the same for push pressing as well, if you're push pressing. Um, and then see if you can do this with the log, tag me, send me a vid. That's it. I feel like I'm sweaty, I'm not angry at you. If you're watching this, I'm not angry. I just fucking love log press. <laughs> All right, see you guys, bye. How do I get out of this thing? <laughs>